Alright then, Tyrant here. I just got done watching the latest episode of In Another World with my smartphone. And once again, craziness ensues. Um, so, how do we begin? So, he it goes from that knighthood thing he was about to accomplish to him acquiring a giant ass mansion. And along the lines with that, apparently a butler service and all this stuff. So he's literally like upgraded and probably in the course of a couple weeks or so he has gone up in status and wealth like really really so he's gone from someone who just had a smartphone in the middle of nowhere to a very oh well, he was still a P but he didn't know that to a very overpowered and very wealthy and loved man like yeah i don't know it was still a fun episode though um you gotta see a more of how the girls feels towards him and how dense they have made this character i knew they were gonna make him somewhat of a dense character but not as dense as he is so um that's a little bit of a peeve i know they usually do make characters like this pretty dense but I always felt he was a little bit more he is a little bit more adamant i think i think he's just plain for sometimes he um for some of the situations but well that's that but now that he's on an adventure to uh the city uh or the kingdom of can't remember the name of the kingdom uh since the kings want to form an alliance they're want to utilize um toya's uh, gate ability to you know make it safer uh, so on the journey, you get some bandits, and you can him you can see him utilize more of his abilities. But what is interesting is the uh, what's happening uh, as you can see on the screen. Uh, an interesting battle with a dragon, and um, I feel this scene, these scenes right here, are a great cumul culmination of the way he can utilize his powers. The the way the girls are able to work well with each other and to finish it off how how very unfazed he is once a second dragon comes in uh, all this together just puts such an amazing uh, feel for the episode because even though the episode in the beginning felt a little bit uh, not stagnant but scattered because it went scene to scene to scene like it normally does but this final act of this episode made it way crazy and one of the reasons I do enjoy it. Um, we'll see what ensues once he gets to the kingdom and meets the king of that uh, place. But I don't know, it's gonna be interesting. I was hoping he might get a dragon familiar which would be sick because then he would have two familiars with him with that, which are very overpowered. Uh, but we're gonna have to wait and see about that. But uh, overall, another fun episode. I uh, can't wait for next week. So, uh, thanks again for watching. Until next time.